Hello and welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. This is part 5 of my Mark II tilting trike design and build series. In this video I'm going to be making a steering bell crank which is this part here. This is a welded steel fabrication made of tubing and plate. It's supported by bearings at each end and is actuated by the steering arms which I'll make another time. This is what all the bits and pieces that I'll be making in this video look like before they are welded up. I'm also getting started on my new TIG welding machine which I've just invested in. We'll have a little look at this at the back end of the video. I've got a lot of welding practice to do before I'm ready to start welding up the parts. But before I get started on the bell crank there's one little job I need to do which is to fit the bottom bracket to the sliding tube that it's welded to. The sliding tube fits inside the top tube on the frame and gives a little bit of adjustment. It works a bit like a seat post on a bike. I'm clamping the tube in the vise using a pair of V-blocks. Here I'm centering the mill spindle over the centre of the tube using the old ruler trick. When the ruler is horizontal, the spindle is centred. Close enough for this job anyway. I'm roughing the notch with a hole saw because I haven't got one of exactly the right size. So I'm going to finish the slot to fit using a boring head. The edges of the tube have been filed to give a bit of a V-shaped notch all around ready for welding. I'm pretty happy with the fit. Back to the bell crank, the first job is to make the steering arms, which are these bits here. I've marked out the parts using a fine sharpie. I'm drilling the holes where the steering rod ends will be attached. For this part, I'm using the CAD model as a guide, but I'm working out the details as I go. I'm using a centre drill first and then I open the holes out to the finished size with a normal twist drill. These parts are made of 1.5mm steel plate and I use a thin cutting disc on the angle grinder to cut them out. I have filed the edges of the first one and used this as a template to mark out the second one, which is cut out using the angle grinder as before. I've attached the first part on the lathe faceplate so that I can bore out the central hole to the right size. I start with the drill and then move on to a boring bar and bring the hole to the finished size. I've used an offcut of the tube as a test piece to check the fit. Using my deburring tool to clean up the holes. Next I'm making these parts, which the inner ends of the steering tie rods attach to. I use a bit of marking blue so that I can clearly see the scribe lines when I'm marking out. I 
I'm using my spring-loaded centre punch to mark out the holes. I've cleaned off the blue with isopropanol and I'm super gluing the two parts together so that I can drill the holes through in one operation. I square up the parts on the mill table and then drill the holes through. I use my digital readout to get precisely the right separation. These are the finished parts. At this point I realised the design wasn't quite right so I made some changes and remade the parts which look like this. This is what all the parts look like. I'm doing a dry run of the fit up. I decided to take the plunge and invest in a new digital AC-DC TIG welding machine. Before I start welding all the bits together, I'm going to do a lot of welding practice so that I don't destroy the parts I've just made. We'll come to that in another video. Next time I'm going to be making the steering uprights which the front wheels of the trike fit to, and hopefully getting going with some welding. Thank you for watching, please feel free to leave a comment or question down below. You can check out the other videos in this series, or see all my other videos by clicking on the links. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you know next time I upload a video. See you next time.